Cities are always unfinished. They're not just crucibles in which things happen. They're actually spaces that shape how things happen, what the outcomes are. They bring together nature and culture, built environment and everyday lives, science and technologies that disrupt on a regular basis. Most of the growth is in the global south. China will soon have a billion people living in cities. Africa and India are urbanizing rapidly. Latin America has urbanized, but there's still rapid urban growth. What that means is that the old focus on the cities of Europe and North America doesn't always travel. It travels problematically. So we need to think about the new geographies of urban growth. Peak Urban brings together researchers across five countries and four continents. They work across different academic disciplines, producing research that is useful for people that live and work in cities and want to shape their future differently. Too often in the past, the, the development agenda hasn't been urban. As more people move to cities, live in cities, we're beginning to think about the interface between the development agenda and the urban agenda. That means the research we do in peak urban is fundamentally about knowledge exchange, linking researchers with city lives. Using machine learning and big data analytics, we have health projects that can work at a continental scale to think through the interface between housing conditions and mortality. On the migration front, we've got work looking at internally displaced people in, in Colombia, the massive movement to the cities in China, along with new migrations to India and the mobilities of contemporary South Africa. For research to be useful, it has to be translated into the real world. What Peak Urban tries to do is think across conventional academic boundaries, across disciplines, in medicine, in data analytics, in anthropology, in geography and transport. If we can think about how we bring together different kinds of expertise in different parts of the world, then we can possibly make a real difference through the practical application of research. Cities right now are in a moment of post-pandemic uncertainty. For some people, the city might die in the wake of the pandemic. For some people say the city will be hollowed out. But what that means is that cities across the world are thinking about their future more now than they've ever done. The pandemic teaches us that we can't just rely on the science. We need to think about how the urban sciences land in the world. We face crises of inequality, crises of climate change, crises of economic development. All of these things need to be reconciled through an urban lens. When peak is done, what we hope to have is a body of first-class research, but also, importantly, a new generation of researchers who themselves are making a major differences to the cities in which they live.